Dave, you've been in Nottingham a couple of weeks now. I guess the only place to start is how have you been finding things? Well, first of all, I've enjoyed it very much again. And um, back in the Elite League, it's uh, in my mind, it's a really good level of hockey. I enjoy being on the bench. Um, we seem to have a really good bunch of players here, and uh, I've enjoyed it so far. Now, you mentioned a good bunch of players. What have you made of the group as a whole so far? Now you've been around them for a few weeks. Good. I, I know they all get along with each other, um, and that, that's the main thing, really, right? I mean, in a team sport, you have to get along with your teammates, and you have to want to win for them. So, Because if you don't, the team will never do well. It'll be very hard to get success when you don't do it. So. Um, I think they get along well. I think the last couple of games, I think they've played well for each other. I think that's probably one of the reasons why they won the games. And then, you mentioned being back in the Elite League. You've also been still involved in the British game down in Leeds this year. This opportunity is a bit of a whirlwind when it came around. What's it like being on the bench in Nottingham on that home bench? <laughs> yeah, I've never been on the home bench before. <laughs> so, uh, I was always slamming the gate on this one. Poor Andy Carson. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know what? I've really enjoyed my time. I love it here. It's, a, it's always been a nice city. Uh, I've been here numerous times. I know some people here. Um, going into other rinks like we talked about earlier, you know, I know a lot of people in the country. I've got a boy in, she in Sheffield and a boy in Belfast, so I want to beat them. And then, well, you're going to see one of them this weekend when we go to Bel well, when Belfast come here on Sunday. But before that, if we look back at last weekend, there's no secret that the Panthers have had a tough year this year. There's been a bit of a struggle with results and things like that. Now you've coached teams like Cardiff when they were in the, you know, when they were having really bad times. Things. Yeah. You've been, you've, you're, you're an experienced head who's come in here. What's important in times like that to get through it? To not let them get down on each other, you know, because once that happens, it just snowballs and it's it, you're never going to be successful. Um, I think here, if you can, you know, keep your head above water more or less and really, really work hard for the player beside you. You know, it's a team sport and you gotta want that player to win just as bad for you as for him. And if you don't do that and you get down on each other, um, it's it's not good. So if we can just stay, you know, like uh, just working hard for one another, doing it every day in practice. Um, we've had good practices, they all get along. And uh, I think it's showing the last couple games, we did have a, a meeting after the game in Cardiff, I think the guys aired some stuff out, which was awesome. That's that's the way you move forward, right? You can't just have things stuck inside and not say anything. So I think it really helped the last couple games. And I think from the first couple I saw, we worked it way harder. We were harder on the puck, harder on the player, back checking with a purpose, forward checking with a purpose. And when you're successful, those are the things that you need to do well to be successful. And you mentioned that meeting in Cardiff. And you saw how the team responded when Cardiff came here on the Sunday. And that, that must have made you, like, as a coach, like, extra pleased to see that. Yeah, for sure. And you know what? And once, you know, an hour later, the players all realized that as well. You know, some of them don't want to say things because some don't want to say things in front of a group, right? They just don't. They're just more quiet. But the guys who spoke, I thought they did a good job. I think they brought things that um, out to the forefront so everybody knows what page they're on. And you have to have everybody on that same page. In the last couple of games, I thought we did have them on the same page. And they worked really hard when they didn't have the puck. And that's a hard, that's the hardest thing of hockey. Uh, when you have the puck, you always want to go. But it's coming back, picking up the right player, helping the other player in the corner. And when you do the little things well and right, you're going to be successful. And then, as an experience, now you've been, you know, you've been a coach in Sheffield, Belfast, in Cardiff, and you felt the atmosphere in, here in Sunday it was incredible. Just how important is that, you know, good, feel good factor on home ice like that? It's always a good feel factor, isn't it? It doesn't matter what sport it is or what you do. If the fans are behind you, you're more motivated. They really are. And they were loud in that game against Cardiff. And the players deserved their credit. You know, they did. They worked extremely hard from the night before to there. It was like two different teams. And uh, I think that is the sixth man on the ice. We had a good crowd. And they, they've been here a long time. They, they know what they're talking about. and um, They know when the team is working hard, they know when they're not working hard. And they knew they were working hard because they were cheering after certain shifts for players. So that was really good. And, you know, players really uh, like it. You know, it gets them motivated. It gets them going even harder. So it was great. And then sometimes after a big game on the Sunday against you know, one of the top teams in the league, a midweek game against Manchester, sometimes the mind slips. That, that mental side of it. 
were you impressed with how the team managed to like there was no after the Lord Mayor's show sort of thing? Yeah, for sure. You know, they came back, tried starting off the same way we finished from the game prior. So Manchester's a hard team to play. They really are. They work hard and they probably stick to their same structure pretty much all the time. They get it down deep, they go in there and crash the net, they get the puck to the net and they're not trying to really make plays. They're they're just working their hardest to get a puck to the net. And that's hard to defend sometimes. There's two or three guys in front of the goalie. I think Carr's played excellent every game that I've seen him play. Um, keeps us in the game, gives us our opportunity to win. And it was a really good win. It was solid. Players, you know, came in that dressing room. They were tired after that game. And, you know, those are the things that you really feel good about yourself. I worked hard tonight and I was rewarded for it.